Biscayne National Park is located in southeastern Florida, only about 30 miles from the city of Miami. It is home to mangrove forests, coral reefs, and all kinds of animals, including the manatee, the sea turtle, and whales. Today, we are going to embark on an adventure to explore this unique park and learn about how we can impact the lives of the animals that live here. Biscayne National Park was established in 1980 in order to protect a chain of islands in Biscayne Bay and the surrounding waters. It is currently the largest marine park in the National Park Service as it protects 173,000 acres. It protects marine, terrestrial, and amphibious ecosystems, which all connect to each other and to us. 95% of the park is underwater, and it protects the only coral reef within the continental U.S. This is Biscayne Bay, which stretches north to Miami and south toward Key Largo. This bay is a large estuary where fresh water from the mainland meets the salt water of the sea. This estuary is the perfect place for baby fish to grow up. Here, we got to take a look at fish hatcheries. There are over 200 different types of fish that call Biscayne home. This is also a great place for meadows of seagrass, which, just like the grass in your backyard, takes in the sunlight and photosynthesizes to make sugars that can be used as energy for the animals that eat them. One animal that loves these grasses is sea turtles. Of the seven types of sea turtles in the world, four of them are found in Biscayne. These turtles can travel over a thousand miles to return to the place of their birth in order to lay their eggs on the beach. These nests are studied and marked so that visitors don't accidentally step in a turtle nest. Sea turtles are a keystone species, which means that much of the ecosystem depends on them for survival. If they were all taken out of the ocean, many ecosystems would drastically change. That is why it's important to study them and try to take care of them. One way we can do this is through rehabilitation centers, like this one, which help to take care of sick turtles and release many of them back into the wild. We can also help by reducing light pollution. Light pollution is the brightening of man-made lights at night. This can have a disruptive effect on natural cycles and it inhibits the observation of the stars. About 83% of the world's population lives under a light polluted sky. And this inhibits many natural processes and animals who need the natural light of the moon, like baby sea turtles when they are trying to find the sea. While some light is good, there are steps that we can take to reduce the impact on nighttime animals. For example, we can shield the light so it only shines down to the ground. We can use lights that are low to the ground and use lights with long wavelengths like red or orange light. Another keystone species found in Biscayne is the mangrove tree. Mangroves are tropical trees that are incredibly important to their environments. These trees are actually able to filter out salt from the ocean water. They are also barely affected by the ebb and flow of the rising and falling of ocean tides. These trees also protect the land and human developments from the tides, erosion, storm surges, and other natural disasters. 
Their unique root systems also provide homes for many different species, including different types of fish, lobster, and even sharks. Whether you live near the ocean, in the mountains, or prairies, there are always keystone species which help to balance the ecosystems in your area. It is important for us to study these keystone species so that we can help them and help our environments to thrive.